All the Cubs had to do to break out of their collective slump was face the guy who led the National League in era, apparently. That's an amusing narrative to peddle after the Cubs roughed up Marlins starter Jarlan Garcia, who had only allowed four runs in 33 innings before Monday night, for seven runs in four innings. More accurate, though, a team this good was bound to emerge from a barren offensive wasteland at some point, I think every reasonable look at it will, you remind yourself these guys are going to come out of it, President of Baseball Operations Theo Epstein said. Riz is going to become Anthony Rizzo again and Wilson Contreras is going to become Wilson Contreras. Were due for some positive regression at some point. The guys are grinding away and trying to get there, it's natural you press, especially when everyone else is struggling around you. There's a lot of pressing. I think that's what you're seeing with our at-bats right now. But welcome out of it, Chris Bryant, Javier Baez and Ian Happ socked home runs off Garcia, though only one of those guys is among those due for the positive regression expected by Epstein. But just look at how ridiculously far off Rizzo's 2018 numbers are from his career averages. Stat career current plate appearances 4003 108 AVG, OBP, SLG.265, .365, walk percent. 11.13.7 strikeout percent 16.7 14.8 HR fly ball percent 15.4 11. for hard hit percent 33.0 30.9 soft hit percent 16.8 14.8 as for Contreras he doesn't have the thousands of plate appearances accumulated by Rizzo but his statistical drop off is still significant these numbers are prior to Monday's game stat career current plate appearances 833-122 average OBP SLG.27 71.351.475.231.320.361 walk percent 9.67.4 strikeout percent 22.618.9 HR fly ball percent 20.93.2 hard hit percent 32.925.9 soft hit percent 23.518.3 if you're a tabbing two players to come out of their slumps with a vengeance those are probably your two guys Russell's early season stats aren't all that far off from his career averages, for what it's worth. Stat career current plate appearances 1,617 111 AVG, OBP, SLG.240, 311, 0.401, 0.402, 0.306, 0.320, walk percent 8.38.1, strikeout percent 24.417.1 HR, fly ball percent 11.40.0, hard hit percent 32.930.5, soft hit percent 23.5 24.4 and Hap notched his 500th career plate appearance Monday night, not affording him much of a sample size. Stat career current plate appearances 49986 average OBP SLG.248.322.490.228.1 .380 walk percent 9.28.1 strikeout percent 33.745.3 HR fly ball percent 23.715.8 hard hit percent 33.840.0 soft hit percent 20.330.0 from an overall standpoint it always was unlikely the cubs offense would keep struggling that's just baseball and the success enjoyed by this lineup in the last few's meant a positive regression is more likely than not to happen Monday night was a good start were last in the league in walks that's not going to last epstein said we're not going to lead the league in soft contact we're not going to be standard deviations worse than other teams with runners in scoring position. That's not going to last, Epstein spoke with a kind of confidence you'd expect from an executive who built rosters Thav Sandwich National League Championship Series appearances around a World Series title in the last three years. It's worth noting the Cubs were in a similar position a year ago at this time, coming off a frustrating extra-inning marathon loss on Sunday night baseball to the New York Yankees and owning a 16-15 record. Eventually, the turned around, a little later than those on Clark and Adson. Might they liked, in part by trusting the guys that had performed in the past would continue to do so in the immediate future, so that's the same approach taken by those on and around the team in 2018, it's too early to panic and make a rash decision that goes against all the scouting and evaluation put into constructing this roster and coaching staff in the past months and years. It was easy to look at the World Series hangover thing last year, Epstein said. There's no cute name for this one. It's just struggling. It's not pretty. We know our fans are probably really frustrated and dying and our guys care a lot. 
They're pressing. We know it's not going to last forever, and you just got to keep grinding your way through it. There's no easy answer. There's nothing you can. There's no fire and brimstone speech that's going to turn this thing around. Just continue to work hard and one good swing for each player involved usually is the key to having them feel good and go on a tear.